Thing up there that, on, that we saw on the uh, on the clip was you doing the uh, the bird on the aeroplane. Yeah, a fantastic thing. You do a lot of stuff about animals, do you? Well, I've also got inanimate objects talking. I got toast recently talking. Toast and toaster. And I realise it's not just the animals. I mean, but people have done this before. I mean, um, uh, Richard Pryor. All his animals talk. You know, so it's nothing new. It's just they've got a, bit of a mania for it. But and, and um, um, the guy does the far side. Um, Larson. Gary Larson. I was going to say Larry Grayson. No, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Larson. He did, the, he did the far side. Right? <laughs> he did the near side. Um, and he did the back side. That's the joke we're after. <laughs> that's the joke you're after. <laughs> that's the joke. That's the only joke. If it's a far side Gary Larson, you got Larry Grayson, you have to say the back side, even though you know you can never put it on telly. I got the laugh on the first bit, though. You can come up with the back side joke. OK. I've done the back side joke, and I'm proud of it. Good. Uh, anyway, yeah, he talked about animals. Uh, you know, well, I mean, all his, uh, he didn't talk, all his uh, cartoons but had a lot of animals talking and bugs and everything. And I don't know, I think it, it just, you just see human beings kind of objectively when you see animals doing it. I don't understand that, but it sort of works for me. Well, my, my dad, and this is absolutely true, uh, my dad told me that his dad was obviously my granddad. He told you that? Yeah. Was it a long... It was a bit of a shot when he came out with it. <laughs> long nights of interesting chats you had. <laughs> yeah. And then he explained who my sister was and everything. How, we old laughed. Were you? How old were you at this point? I was, uh... Oh, about 12, 13. Good. No, that wasn't what he said. <laughs> my granddad lived in Newcastle, and you'll appreciate this, but this is not a joke. It's, it, right. Well, it's told is true. And he said he was coming back... Um, from work one night and he had to get to this field regularly and, uh, and but one night there was a circus there and he said that he went past the where they kept the monkeys and he heard them talking inside the monkeys right well, talking english talking yeah not he the monkeys as in hey hey with it but no. <laughs> obviously that wouldn't have been such a shock just your basic chimpanzees chimpanzees were talking i said to me dad i said no this is that's rubbish and he said no he said, and my dad always said, you know, if anyone said to him it's rubbish, he said, no, they can talk, but they don't let humans know. He said, because if there's a war, who would have to go first? <laughs> and there is a logic, isn't there? You know, you know mon <laughs> marching off with a gun. <laughs> Which obviously, if they could talk, they wouldn't be making that noise. So if there's a war, the monkeys think, no, we'll say we have to say with the circus. You know, yeah, it's, uh... the monkeys go... <laughs> That means that when those monkeys go up to the space, they're up there saying, ah, oh, this is the life, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> God. Is it true, Eddie, and I've read this, not very Parkinson now, you say, is it true that, uh... <laughs> Eddie! This is good, this is couch, this is a uh, psychiatrist stuff. You're still there, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it true that uh, you got into comedy to get your own back on your school teachers? No, it was to get shagged, really. Uh, <laughs> well, doesn't work, does he? And have you found that? Yeah, it doesn't work very well for me. Well, it does, but the, the, uh, what I found is that you're desperately interesting on stage. This is the brilliant thing about performing. This is for anyone who gets into performing. Because it is, I just so we moved in then as it got interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, but there is this thing of, I had a great inability of talking to women. Oh, after puberty, before puberty, I was great. You know, you know I, was, uh, I was a real sort of, in the kiss chase, I was really in there, get, <laughs> getting those kisses in, big snogs. And then at puberty, I just sort of got, went into pizza man, you know, kind of uh, acne problems and greasy hair, and I just, and I just lost all my confidence. And so then when I wanted to get off girls, because I do fancy girls, because I'm a lesbian trapped in a man's body. Um, <laughs> only way to really explain it quickly. And uh, a bit like uh, a bit like Martin and Avratilova. <laughs> Anyway, when, uh, when uh, you learn karate, you got taught these two hand moves first. And Sorry, now just take a wait. Um, what was I talking about? You were talking about... Sex, yeah. yeah. You, so, you're a human pizza. So, so, and on stage, if you're performing away, it's kind of uh, sexy, because it looks kind of interesting, going, hey, funny line here, funny line there. And the brilliant thing was that it looked kind of sexy, and people might, you know, girls might find it kind of attractive. And then, I remember after early gigs, people would come up and talk to you afterwards, and as soon as you come on stage, you go into this, this bumbling idiot again, and they go, hi, I saw your show, and they go, uh, yeah, uh, 
high. Uh, you just, <laughs> this is a problem. You have to be able to continue this thing afterwards. I go, yes, I was quite funny on stage, wasn't I? <laughs> I'm as funny on stage as I am uh, active in bed, yes. <laughs> and that's what you want to try and segue. But yeah. I just used to come off and, and be stumbling. And, well, it, it, well, really, it was a good, yes, great, thanks. And then they'd walk off <laughs> with their metal underwear on. <laughs> you've been, um, you've been comedying all over the world, Eddie, have you not? Yeah. How the bloody hell do you do that? Well, uh, plane tickets, mainly. <laughs> I went to France, I went to America, and, and Reykjavik and Iceland, because I met Björk, and she said, oh, go to Iceland, so I did, because I'm like that. Mom's gone to Iceland, apparently. <laughs> Well, that's what I think. <laughs> when Sorry. you go to... <laughs> Sorry. No, it's thank God Mum's gone to Iceland, isn't it? Isn't they say, thank God Mum's gone to Iceland? Do they actually She's out of the house. We can burn it down or something. <laughs> Do they say thank God on that advert? Isn't it? Mum's gone to Iceland. They actually praise the say? deity. <laughs> the fact their mother's gone to some freezer centre. Oh, hell, Mum's gone to Iceland. Yeah. Mum's <laughs> gone to Iceland. <laughs> Look, I've got the tickets. She's yeah. forgot her passport. Or, Mum's gone to Iceland. But you could, you could do really bad holidays. Like, Come on, kids, we're going to Iceland. And you get all packed up and bounce and just go down, sit around the freezer department. And <laughs> get some tip tops. Go on, Mum. So you went. Tip tops so were great, weren't they? They were marvellous. They're still around. You could just squeeze them up slowly. Yeah, you, that end bit, there's a lot of sucking, because sucking is one of the main things involved in nice lollies. There's a loud ones of those, which I used to do in the back of the car. Mm. Piss me down. You were in, I think. Was it in Norway or something when the bloke said to you, the thing that really... Because you can never guess what people say is funny about the English. And he said, the things that gets me about the English, he said, is carpets. Oh, yeah, in the loos. <laughs> <laughs> this is in Reykjavik. This is in yeah. Iceland. And oh, that, Iceland. that really threw me because, you know, because, you know, doing comedy, if you like talking ad-libbing, you're sort of ready to go with anything. So the guy said, you tell you, you guys, you guys and bring you crazy because you've got carpets in your toilets. <laughs> and I went, <laughs> I've, I've never really thought about it. Yeah, I suppose some people do and some people don't. And, uh, and he said, it's crazy. Cause... But did you explain the see-through plastic mat that often fits around the base of the toilet? <laughs> but there's also sometimes a fairy, extra fairy thing that goes around yeah. the base of the toilet. <laughs> yeah. But he said, he said, because when, when you are peeing, it goes everywhere. And why have a carpet, you know? And uh, He's right, though. It is right for men. I mean, men do tend to go into the loo and just, hey, let's take a look. <laughs> The world's got a bit up there. Spider up on the wall. Never. That kind of thing. If it's you a get great inability. If you get twin jets, you've got. What, when you pee? <laughs> you, so, you know, sometimes you get twin jets. You must get that after sex. <laughs> what, you mean when you pee? <laughs> yeah. You're going to say, yeah, when you're peeing. I just thought you meant just twin jets, basically. No. <laughs> just like some sort of sometimes big Sometimes after, after sex, you get, you know, you get a bit. Well, bonged up. <laughs> It's, like, it's a bit like weeing through a curly whirly. <laughs> Do you want to sit here? You know, it's, it's right, though. Have you, know, you must get that. Doesn't every bloke get that? What, weeing through a curly whirly? No. <laughs> if I was a grocer, I'd do that all the time, then put them back. No. It's Pipe, sort of curly whirly. Go with me on this. It's right, true, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now, all I was going to say... Curly whirly. All I was going to say is sometimes with the two jets is that sometimes they sort of plat together into one single platted jet. And, <laughs> and in bright sunshine, that can be quite beautiful. <laughs> we toured Sweden doing comedy. Well, Stockholm. Yeah, we toured Stockholm. We went in a restaurant, I remember. This is a bit love ish but anyway, we went in a restaurant. And it had on oh, the menu. Yeah, on the menu it's tell said, them, tell them. <laughs> tell them. Process. And it was me and Eddie Izzard, of course, Lord Izzard, as he is now. <laughs> you ordered something for the That's menu. It. It, was very, it was very rigorous. Well, I ordered it for a joke, because it said, mashed potato on a plank. <laughs> no, it is, no, it's called steak on a plank. Steak on a plank. So we had a big laugh about, ah, ha, ha, on a plank. Because it was translated, all the meals were translated in English, and this one had steak on a plank, and we just thought, oh, So we ordered it, and it was steak on a plank. <laughs> It was on a small plank <laughs> with like a knot hole and two nails at one end. And a, a little divot for a tomato. Yeah, it's a, it's a, they'd, they'd hollowed out bits so the tomato didn't roll off the plank when they brought it over. They cook it on a plank. And it's just, it just we couldn't believe it and it was true. Well, look, it's, it's been a, a real joy 
seen you again because uh, you're a good bloke and a fantastic comedian, and it's always a pleasure. Eddie is old, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.